It's a good morning for everybody except for Titans and Steelers fans. Tell you that much. For years, a Yeezy 350 V2 high silhouette has been rumored. In fact, I think it's even been sampled. And it's always been one of those elusive sneakers that you always think might come out, but it never has. But it seems like in 2021, it might actually come out. Or not, I'm not 100% sure. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and this is Weekly Heat. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below if you haven't yet. If you didn't hit it in 2020, make sure to hit it in 2021. And also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. But to start things off with something other than sneaker news, our very first 2021 Apothecary sock drop is going down this Friday. If you didn't know, which if you watch this channel, I'm sure you know because I talk about it all the time, Apothecary is a sock brand that I started with a good friend of mine about six months ago. And I've gotta say, the reception and the love that you guys have shown us has been been absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to continue this brand into 2021. But we're starting off the year right with a brand new sock collection that's coming in three different colors. The three colors that are dropping are blue and white, cream and green, and yellow and pink. So if you guys want to grab any of these socks from this collection for yourself, make sure to give Apothecary a follow on Instagram or sign up for our newsletter which I've linked in the description below because we will be dropping these socks on Friday and we'll make sure to let you know when on Instagram and through the newsletter. But moving right into the sneakers, we have got a lot of news about a lot of really crazy sneakers. First off, it looks like we've got a follow-up to the wildly popular Salehi Bembury New Balance 2002R. New Balance has just been killing it with collaborations in the last two or three years, and this one, the Salehi Bembury, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, is one of my favorite to drop in 2020. But unfortunately for me, I was not able to grab a pair, so actually this morning, I pulled the trigger and grabbed a pair for resale because I've been waiting for a couple weeks, waiting to see if the price would drop, and it just keeps going up and up and up, so I finally decided, you know what? I'm gonna spend the resale and just go for it because I really want that shoe. But for those of you who don't wanna spend the resale and still wanna grab a Salehi New Balance, it looks like there is a new colorway of the sneaker dropping in the very near future. Based on a leaked image of literally just the heel of the shoe, you can tell that this new colorway is on the same silhouette, the 2002R. However, the colorway has changed pretty dramatically. Rather than go for something similar to the orange and yellow colorway that dropped a couple months back, it looks like this latest collaboration is gonna come in a blue and green. Now, obviously, I haven't seen the full sneaker yet, but knowing what the older collaboration looks like and seeing the colors that they used on this newer collaboration, I do think I prefer the colorway on the first collab. Nothing against this blue and green. In fact, I think this blue and green is also going to look clean, but that orange and yellow was just something kind of different that I was really excited about. But all that said, based on this image and also based on what we know of the previous collaboration, it looks like this shoe will come in very similar color blocking, just in these tones of blues and greens. And just like I say in a lot of these Weekly Heat videos, unfortunately, as of right now, we do not know the release date, but because images are coming out, I would expect it to be at least in the next couple months. Next up, we finally got official images of what could be the very first Ultra Boost 21 colorway. And interestingly enough, it looks like it's an LA Rams colorway. Not sure why, but also shout out to John Rettinger. He's a huge Rams fan and he'd probably love this sneaker. So this shoe comes in a bright blue and yellow colorway that really looks a lot like the Rams helmet. In fact, the yellow portion of the shoe really looks like a horn. While I'm not personally a fan of the LA Rams, I don't dislike them. I'm just obviously more of a Ravens fan. It's not a shoe that I would pass on just because I really want to try the Ultra Boost 21. And if this is the first colorway to drop, this is the colorway that I'll be grabbing. Now with all that said, we don't know if this is the first colorway of the 21 to drop. This is just the first official images that we have, so it's possible that they're gonna drop something like the NASA collaboration like they did last year, or even just a more simple black and white colorway. Who knows? But with all that aside, what we can tell from the image is that it does look like the Ultra Boost 21 is pretty different from the Ultra Boost 20. First off, the shoe looks a lot sleeker, and it also looks like they just added so much more boost in the midsole. In addition to that, the knit pattern of the shoe has changed. It looks like the upper is a lot more breathable, and it also looks like they've changed up the heel counter and the outsole. You know what? The the more that I look at this shoe, the more that it reminds me of a Nike running sneaker. And I don't know if that's what they were going for. I don't think they were trying to bite off Nike's design at all, but there are definitely some elements of this shoe that remind me a lot of some of the newer like Zoom X and React running sneakers. I don't know, maybe it's the overall shape of the silhouette. Maybe it's some of the lines on the upper of the shoe. I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of a Zoom X sneaker. I don't, I don't know why. That said, there is no release date for the Rams colorway or the Ultra Boost 21 in general, but because there are official images of the shoe, I would expect them to drop in the very, very near future. After that, it looks like we finally got some images of the upcoming Sakai Nike Blazer Lows in both the classic green and the Magma Orange colorways. Sakai's recent collaborations with Nike have been insanely popular, so it makes sense that Nike is continuing this collab partnership. And what better way to do it than creating a low top version of one of their most popular collab silhouettes, the Nike Blazer. The Sakai Nike 
Nike Blazer Low seems like a very similar shoe to the original Sakai Nike Blazer High. It still features all those doubled up details like the Nike swoosh, the two tongues, and also the crazy rubber paneling on the heel. But the main difference, and the most obvious difference, is that it looks like they've actually cut off the top of the sneaker in order to make it a low top. And I really feel like this low top version of the Sakai Nike Blazer might be more popular than the high top version because it seems a lot more wearable, and when this shoe comes out, it's probably going to be right before summer. The two colorways that seem to be dropping are the classic green colorway, which comes in a white, gray, blue, and green, and also the magma orange colorway, which comes in a white, orange, and yellow. And both of these shoes look pretty clean and very wearable. In fact, they seem a lot more wearable than a lot of the other Sakai Nike collaborations, which just seem like they would fall apart if you wore them too much. Of course, there's no release information on these shoes yet, but the rumored date is sometime in spring 2021. So remember a couple months ago when there were leaks of a Paisley Air Jordan 1 coming out? Well, those leaks were apparently true, but the images that they showed us were completely off. So this is apparently what the shoes will actually end up looking like, and they weren't even Air Jordan 1 highs to begin with, they were Air Jordan 1 KOs. So for me at least, there was immediate disappointment, and I know there was a lot of other people who are also disappointed by this recent unfortunate turn of events. Unlike the original renders, it looks like this Air Jordan 1 KO Paisley comes with an entirely Paisley upper that's actually printed on canvas. The colors used on the upper seem to be tonal blues and white, and of course, as the name would suggest, they come in a Paisley pattern that seems to vary based on the different panels on the shoe. Now, even though we're all probably pretty disappointed about this, I don't think any of us were really surprised that the renders weren't actually how the shoe ended up turning out. Like I've said before, it's nothing against the people who actually make the renders. In fact, they usually do a pretty excellent job, but in some cases like this, there's just no way to get it right because they're literally going off the name of a colorway on a spreadsheet. They don't actually know what the sneaker looks like. And honestly, most times, the renders look twice as good as the actual release sneaker, so it makes me think, why doesn't Jordan Brand just hire the people doing the renders? Because they kill it. Whatever, rant aside, the sneaker doesn't look bad, it's just not what we expected, and it's not something that I personally will be planning to pick up. But I definitely know that there are people out there who love the KO and will probably love this silhouette. So when it actually ends up dropping, I bet you it will sell out. So it looks like even more classic Nike Dunk collaborations are returning in 2021, this time in the way of the Fragment Nike Dunk High City Pack. The original pack released back in 2010 and featured three different colorways inspired by three different cities. And it makes sense that this pack is returning in 2021 because of the insane Nike dunk hype that's happening this year and last year. And of course, Nike's still collaborating with Fragment, so it also kind of ties in there as well. As far as we know, it looks like the pack is returning in the same three mismatched colorways, a yellow and pink pair, a red and black pair, and a black and purple pair. And of course, all of these shoes being Fragment collaborations, they all feature the Fragment stamp on the heel. Now based purely on the fact that this pack is a collaboration with Fragment, I would assume that the stock on this pack is going to be relatively limited. And also, I would assume that this pack is going to be very difficult to get just because it is limited and also because it's a collab and also because it's a Nike Dunk High. So if you do want to grab one of the shoes from the pack or maybe the entire pack, don't expect it to be easy. It's probably going to be pretty difficult. And currently, there is no official release date for this pack. It's just expected to drop in fall 2021. So after multiple relatively boring Yeezy 380 colorways releasing last year, it looks like Adidas is going back to their roots with the 380 and releasing a shoe that's very similar to the original release. This brand new Yeezy 380 colorway is named the Alien Blue colorway, and like the original Alien colorway, it features a light cream and gray upper. However, even though the original Prime Knit color is the same as the original Aliens, Adidas has decided to switch things up by changing the scratch on the side of the shoe to more of a green and the midsole to a bright blue. Is it a beautiful shoe? No, I don't think so, but it is a colorway that I think will spark interest in the 380s once again. And I've gotta say, some of these images really make the Alien Blue colorway look really good. In fact, it might be my favorite 380 colorway to drop so far, even more so than the original Aliens. So, if you wanna grab one of the Alien Blue Yeezy 380s for yourself, they should be dropping sometime in spring 2021. Next up, it looks like Nike is dropping a brand new Nike Dunk Low pack called the Free 99 pack. With a name like that, you would expect the sneaker to be free, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Based on renderings, it looks like there are two colorways in this pack that are both made up of crazy multicolor uppers. The first shoe comes in a mismatched, almost Stewie Griffin style upper and features bright yellows, reds, greens, and blues. In addition to that, it also looks like the shoe comes with the words Free 99 printed on the insole. The other colorway is apparently a darker, but really not toned down version of the shoe. This shoe comes in a primarily black upper featuring pastel pinks, blues, and greens. Now, not much more is known about these sneakers like release dates and price points 
and things like that, but the rumored time frame for the drop of this shoe was January, but as we're getting to the middle and even towards the end of January, I wouldn't be surprised if they've been pushed back. Next up, we've got official images of two more colorways of the Supreme Nike Dunk Low collaboration. The two colorways featured in these new official images are the Baroque Brown colorway and the Black colorway. And like the Hyper Royals that we just talked about last week, they also featured the faux croc skin on the upper and the gold star printing on the midfoot. Now, if you don't understand the inspiration behind this design, these shoes are based on a Supreme Nike Dunk High collaboration from 2003. And as you may have guessed, those Nike Dunk Highs feature the same faux croc paneling on the upper and the gold star printing on the midfoot. The only real difference between this new 2021 collaboration and the 2003 collaboration, besides the height difference, is the colorways that are used in the collab. And even now, with the official images of the black and brown colorway, I've got to say that the Hyper Royal colorway is by far the best, at least in my opinion, but I think a lot of people would agree. As far as sneaker releases for these shoes, Supreme is usually pretty tight-lipped about their drop date, so if you're trying to grab a pair of these for yourself, make sure to just stay on top of any release information that comes out in the near future. Continuing on, it looks like one of my favorite Adidas sneakers of all time is actually coming back. And that shoe is the Adidas Futurecraft 4D. The Adidas Futurecraft 4D was one of Adidas's very first 3D printed midsole sneakers. In fact, it was one of the first to actually ever release to the public. And for me personally, it's my favorite Adidas 4D sneaker to ever drop. It's the original, it looks incredible, and it feels pretty good on feet. I mean, obviously 4D is not as soft as Boost, but if you pull out the insole on this shoe, there's actually like a mesh underneath your foot, which allows air to come up through the 3D. 3D printed midsole and actually kind of ventilates your foot pretty nicely. This is one of those sneakers that at the time of release was reselling for thousands and thousands of dollars. And to be fair, this re-release of the shoe will effectively kill the resale price for anyone who has a pair of these, which is me, but my pair is so worn down it doesn't really matter. I really do love this shoe so much that I might actually pick up a second pair. I know I don't need it and I only wear the Future Crafts like maybe once every two weeks, but it's the kind of shoe that I would like to have a second pair of. Also that black primed upper paired with that really nice light green 40 midsole. It just all looks so clean and so just aesthetically pleasing. I just love the way it looks. But not only is the shoe re-releasing, it's also coming in at a much cheaper price point. So not only do you not have to pay the crazy resale price, you also don't have to pay the $300 retail price that the original pair was in 2018. When the shoe re-releases in 2021, the retail price will be 220 bucks, which is 80 bucks cheaper than it was in 2018, which is a pretty large amount. Which makes the idea of having another pair of these just that much more attractive. There's no confirmed release date for the Adidas Futurecraft 4Ds yet, but expect them to re release in the very near future. And then the final story for today is actually from houseofheat.co and that's that it's possible that there might be a high top variant of the 350 V2s releasing in the somewhat near future. Now the rumors of a high top 350 V2 have actually been circulating the internet for years at this point. In fact, like two years ago I did a video where I sketched my own variant of the high top 350 V2s. Actually I think I called them the 350 V3s but they really were more of a high top 350 V2. And maybe this is just me being biased but I think my take on the shoe was significantly better than the shoe that was actually sampled, which I'm gonna be honest, looks a little dumb. Actually, if you guys would like to check out that full If I Design video where I drew my own version of the 350 V3, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen or in the description below. But based on these images of the high top 350 V2 samples, it looks like the shoe is pretty much exactly the same as a standard 350 V2, except the ankle area of the shoe has sort of been extended or stretched. Now, do I think if a 350 V2 high actually releases, it will look like this? Probably not. I mean, I know there's samples of it, but I think we can tell from the samples that it's not really the best looking shoe in the world. But then again, they did release a 500 high top, which was essentially just a standard Yeezy 500 with a slightly higher ankle area. So anything's possible. Not too much else is known about this sample or when it would hit the market, if it ever hits the market. But because new images of this sneaker are coming up or because images are recirculating, it does mean that it is possible. But honestly, I would love to know your thoughts on this shoe and whether you'd actually pick up a Yeezy 350 V2 high top. So make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. But with that, we pretty much wrap up the entire video for today. Don't forget to sign up for the Apothecary newsletter and also follow us on Instagram if you want to learn about the upcoming drops. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.